The learning material itself, built up of set reading textbooks and workbooks, instructed research, self-directed research. We do regular live webinars. And um, this is one thing that's actually built into this course itself is that ability to link in, not just with your tutor once a week in a live classroom, virtual classroom environment, but also the importance of building a cohort. Okay, so that's fellow students who are completing the course with you. And it's not just an opportunity, I think, to network and identify people with similar interests but also an opportunity to develop learning ideas. And that really is, I think, one of the great things about postgraduate study and, and, and then research and qualifications is that it is research and learning on a deeper level. And it's about constructing your own ideas. And Mark, I'm gonna hand on over to you to talk to us a little bit about, I think, self-directed research and the learning experience at postgraduate level and what's expected. There's no doubt that this particular course appeals to different cohorts of students and, you know, we talked about five years experience before. There's a particular cohort that, you know, may well have come from the ground up, may have no formal study that's undertaken, but they've gradually worked through the ranks in an organisation and undertaking management roles. They have started their own business and, you know, people around them are being hired to, you know, with qualifications. And it's important to cement your CV with qualifications at this master's level. And equally, it can be the normal pathway where students just come up through and they've studied gradually, have the, the base knowledge and have done that through under, study underneath. And they're coming now to this master's level qualification, this graduate diploma, that involves now not just understanding knowledge and skills and knowing it and implying it, but now being able to critically analyze and think and solve problems. So it's one thing to follow a plan. It's another thing to even develop a plan. But when you actually have to implement a plan and think about, well, oh, there's a problem here, there's a roadblock, how do I overcome that? Now, what's the business case for the plan? Now, what's the cost? What's the benefit? What problem am I solving? And then how do I solve it the best possible way? And that critical thinking is developed through processes of research, group discussion, group thinking. And that's why they, the virtual classes are so important that to collaboratively think about and solve problems. And the research component too is about self-directed research so that you can research a problem, right? Develop, get data from within the organization. You can benchmark externally. You can look at literature to see how best practice has been documented in the past. So that when you come up and develop a business case, a reason for change for doing something, you can substantiate it. You know, look, it's references, yes, but it's like examples, best practice example. It's talking about the cost benefit, saying that this is the best case, this is the worst case scenario, and this is the most likely case. And that all involves critical thinking, and that is developed through self-directed research and collaborative work and, and the like. So give that really summarizes the importance of this course, why this course is so different from, say, a diploma of strategic leadership and management. Where you're learning more about the knowledge and skills. Now this is applying it in really practical areas and using case studies and things of that nature. And the virtual classroom is really important component of it. It does provide a lot of flexibility. And the outcome, ideally, is that two birds once on. You get the qualification, but you're thinking, hopefully applying it within your business or the business you intend to start or whatever it might be to get that additional benefit because it's that critical thinking that something will stay with you forever. Excellent. Thank you very much. Well, look, it certainly gives good insight, into, I, I suppose, into the value of that A, postgraduate, but then that problem-solving skill set that you build and then how you can take that from case studies, which you might learn in an academic setting, but then also apply them in that academic setting and then comfortably take them from there into your real place of work. Mm -hmm.